What's going on guys? Margin Market Computer Services. Just worked on this 2010 Toshiba Satellite. Customer's complaint was it was really slow, sluggish. And there was a reason we, it was like that. So uh, now we installed the 128 gb SSD. So I'll bring we brought this laptop back to life most definitely. As you can see, boot up times fast, responsive. Responsiveness will be fast because of it. In a second, you see up here, it'll be um, fully booted up in a second. How much? It's still finishing there. There you go. Now it's fully booted up. Let's, let's go about her um, original hard drive. I put it in a hard drive enclosure now. So as you can see, there a lot of reason why it's her original hard drive was that's why with the OS was was kind of slow was because of um, being you know maxed out wise. Typically, you don't you don't want to have a, I would say on this type of hard drive, you know, tip, the rule of thumb is no more than seventy five percent. You want to at least have on a sixty four bit system at least like you know twenty thirty gigabytes free space wise, so it can still function somewhat correctly. But as you can see, she had it pretty much maxed out, and at the same time. The downfall when you max out hard drives, you have the potential of hurting the hard drive itself, so which I'll show you in a second. So this software is called Hard Sentinel. Awesome software. Shows the status of for the most part hard drives for sure, SSDs here and there. But um makes my job a lot easier, so next second to show up. There we go. So on our hard drive, original hard drive, as you can see, it helps 80% 12 bat sectors. And the main reason why is once again, when you're maxing out hard drives, it's, it's starting to slow down and you're kind of forcing it. So that's when you have the potential, potential of hurting it wise. And um, with the software, which is pretty cool, you can actually put a bandit on it. So we're gonna use this hurl hard drive as a certain hard drive for storage. So I'll show you right now. So you can see what I'm talking about. So as you can see right here, see, so I have to fix it. So on this side, we just put negative, negative, whatever. So I'll do 100. I'm as it goes green. There you go. So got this one also, A. I want it to go green. There you go. So now it'll show it's 100%. So once again, the software's a Band-Aid. So when you have the software on this laptop or whatever computer you put it on, it'll be abandoned for that hard drive you, you plug into this laptop. So now it'll make it basically light, light to it. Wise. So now it's, uh, when you transfer the data, et cetera, it's uh, runs at 100% versus being hurt with bad sectors. And so since, since you, she's going to use the hard drive storage, now what I'm going to do is um, clear it up because she didn't want to save anything. She had games, et cetera. She, just, she didn't want anything out of it at all, she said. So you can, you know, format it here if you choose to. Or oh, what I like to do in case it has, um, you know, any partitions. You hit you know, Windows key R, type in this part. Push yes. And then you type in list disk. And as you see, so we'll do this too, because that's a 232, well, actually a 250 gigabyte SSD, I mean 250 gigabyte hard drive, but that's the one we want, so what you want to clear any partitions of it. Sorry, I put select this two. Now I want this partition. I don't see how many partition it has, as you see it has partitions. So now you want to start deleting them. And this is once again to remove any partitions and start fresh because you can format it, but it can still have small partitions that weren't really formatted, they're still in there, it's lingering wise. So I'm, I'm gonna select you know partition one. And then put delete partition override. And so on. So we don't select partition two. Delete partition override. Three.
now that it's done that accident or you just close it your choice and go here you shouldn't see it at all so now I have to format it wise so the proper way you want to say so you just put you know type in partition create and format hard disk partitions and that's the SSD itself go hmm let me try that again oh there we are cool that's how that I did it for a second so I was you know right click convert to GPT right click it also new simple volume just everything next you want NT NTFS if you want it to be on like a Mac slash Microsoft, then you put XFAT. So you can transfer on both computers. And as you can see now it's there. So there it is empty. So and I, I like to name it so for her, I'll just put you know storage. But you can name it whatever you like. It's on the the owner. And once again I'll show you. So But there you go. So as you can see, it shows it back 100%. Little sign right here shows because I patched it. So as you see, the negative 100s brought it back to greens to make it 100%. So to light it through the machine. So it's, um, yeah. So there you go. It's um, customer should be happy. Should be a lot faster now compared to before with this laptop. Um, she has a couple wrecks because um, it's running. As you can see, let me close that real fast. Whoops, sorry. So once again, use the spec to see the specs of this. Shows temps and what it's running. So was, initially when I had this running, it was actually higher at 60 Celsius. So I told it to rec I recommend you know do temps. She wants to put money into it. Why she wants to last for a lot longer. Replace the thermal paste and pads. She's running three gigabytes of RAM, and she having nothing open. It's, you know it's running about 43 percent. So once you open up. Firefox or anything else, you know, any, any search engine, anything heavy usage wise software, it'll um it'll load up more, especially if you start with remote tabs. So three gigabytes will get her by for now. But this machine can go up to eight gigabytes, which I recommend. So especially nowadays, eight gigabytes is good if you're like me that likes to have multiple, you know, ten tabs plus, etc. Because typically with four gigabytes of RAM, you can get about man, four tabs open and a couple of documents and folders open. You should be okay, but you probably run at 60 70 percent. If you want to, you know, be a lot better, eight gigabytes, you can do you know, 10 12 tabs come to believe. If you want to, like me, I usually have like you know, 20 30 tabs open and I'm running 16 gigabytes of RAM, and that's typically with about 25 30 tabs open at 16 gigs. I'm running about 60 70 percent. So once again, you know, the more RAM, the more merrier wise. It just depends on what you're trying to do with this machine wise. For everyday use, at least my opinion, bare minimum, eight gigabytes of RAM for sure. So on her, she's running dual core, three gigabytes of RAM, and then you know, one twenty gigabytes SSD. Her two, her uh, two fifty gigabyte hard drive now is in a, you know, put in a hard drive enclosure. And yeah, so now she you know she'll, she'll be happy. It's fresh, better than you. And um, yeah, just once again, you know. In due time, she wants to bring back life to the fullest and make sure it lasts for years to be. Replace the thermal paste and pads, add more RAM, and then she's still fine to an operating system because every Windows operating system is detuned out of the box as a gimmick. So you take it back to the shop and they adjust it for you to make it faster. But hopefully, they do it faster that same, you know, that, that one time or like, you know, typically IT guys, companies wise, especially, you know, they'll, uh, They'll make it a little bit faster so you notice it wise, but it, they're there for the long haul. So they'll just keep, you know, you know, adjusting it, adjusting it. And me personally, when I work in computers, you know, the ones I refurbish, I, I peek it out. So I do all the, you know, registry, MS configs, all the, the little tips and tricks you can do to make the OS way more responsive. And so you have a less RAM CPU usage and it stays consistently better that way. So if you have it fine-tuned then from there wise the uh, os is running its peak and it'll make all the other components work correctly and make it you know way more responsive so but yeah you know i hope you guys like the video try to get better at these videos and then doing this for my little sh my little 
new office wise so hopefully do some have power and be a lot better videos wise but um yeah comment if you like you know describe any questions you guys got i'm here for you best ass you can dm me pm me there's my number if you choose to do <laughs> the text jingo etc so i'm you know i'm here for the people to uh save money you know how you know if you want to learn how to work in computers i got you best ass because i didn't go to school for this monster but my buddy that taught me to understand my computers are functioning and why it needs software and certain components to function correctly wise and also sponsored by youtube and a bunch of you know google forums and talk to other techies worldwide and it's technology you know used to the full list you know it's a simple question you can talk to the world you know as youtube as google and hopefully for the most part you have people out there that are kind and they'll help you out so once again you know i'm here for the people so have a good day guys stay fresh take care subscribe have a good day guys Bye.